So this weekend, Bitcoin was pretty much all green. You can see that from Friday all the way up until Sunday, we went up about 10.1%. From the low of 32,000 all the way up as high as 35,950. So we almost got above 36K again. Now, so far today, we have been red. We're down about 4% on the day so far. And we've gone as low as about 33,127. So far, so good as far as the higher low that we were speaking about on Friday's video we've maintained it we've set it up we've maintained it till now we could even still go down but everything is on par for the moment so let's go ahead and dive into the chart and see what we can expect this week hey what's up jay here and welcome to bitcoin daily bringing you guys the best tips tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors the goal of this channel, as always, is to empower you guys, the community, with the knowledge and resources in order to help you get to that next level. So make sure to smash the like button on this video. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. So, so far, we have kept these higher lows, as you guys can see here, when we set this low, then a higher low, and then a higher low. So this ascending support here is on par with basically 33,000 in the event that basically is where we've, we've uh, bounced off of from today, just about less than an hour ago. We tested that 33,000 range right there, which is in line with this support. And we got a bounce back up almost back to 34,000 uh, just now. So that's all good news there. Now, what we're looking for next here is a higher high. So remember, we set this higher high here after we had a high, higher high. And now we need to set another higher high if we want to continue with this pattern, right? So that higher high would be set if we broke, we got to break above 36K and that should take us up to a new higher high. I'm thinking around 38,000. That's the next support here. As you guys can see, uh, 38K has always played a big role with price action in Bitcoin. So that's where I'm expecting that next pit stop. Once we're able to get back above 35 and we can get above this uh, previous high, then 38 should be our next stop. So now if you take a close look at this current pattern that we have here on the daily time frame, you will notice that it is very similar to this pattern right here. And what this is, is a flat top pattern. A flat top is basically when you have a ascending trend line with higher lows. Now it is a little different on the top because we do have higher highs as well. But right now what we're doing, we're using that Fibonacci level, which is right around that 35 K with the ascending support here to give us that flat top. Look, another way that you can set this up as well is basically like an ascending channel. Either way, we're currently at the bottom of this channel and we expect a move up. Of course, that's as long as this support here holds. If the support here does not hold, then we could uh, possibly see some retest of these lower levels down here, including $30,000, which was this and uh, $38,000, which was this down here. So it's definitely imperative for the price to hold here. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the updated Wyckoff accumulation pattern that we have been tracking for the last couple of weeks. But before we jump into that, let me tell you a little bit really quick about today's video sponsor, Liddy Capital. Liddy Capital is a Swiss private equity focusing on litigation finance. They are tokenizing its shares onto the blockchain. The digital shares called Liddy tokens are asset backed by investment in pending careful selected legal cases. These KYC required tokens allow any investor to engage in the high performing litigation finance market 
previously only available to elite investors. Liddy token holders have shareholder rights and access to dividends. 80% of profit distributed will be paid out in dividends. The tokens launched yesterday, so you can now purchase Liddy tokens at liddycapital.com. All right, so looking back on this chart here, the Wyckoff accumulation pattern, you will see that uh, we're still in phase C. So we still have the low here, which was the spring, and we had the test here, right? And then we continued up and we've set a higher high and now a higher low than before. So the pattern is definitely still intact. The last thing that we're waiting for now is a, another higher high, which would basically put us what I believe in is phase D of this pattern. So as long as we hold these higher lows here, um, we should be setting a higher high. Again, my target here is possibly around 38K then we can expect a retest down here, possibly back to 36 to 35K, and then continuation to the upside. So it would basically look something, something like this, where we test this area right here, then go back up to around 40, and then kind of, you know, be stuck here for a little bit before continuing on to phase E. So the most important things here to remember is going to be uh, to set up to set up a new higher high to make sure that we keep we continue setting these new higher lows. Then we have the retest, which is the last point of support here, and then basically take off up to that 40 to 42k area, which will be the biggest number. Remember, 42,000 has been the number that has not let us pass by. It was a number that basically put us in this range once we fell below it back here. So that's the number that I believe with a move above it, bullish sentiment should return to the market and we should see some nice moves back up to around the 48 to 50K range. As far as trade setups that we're watching here, the same thing as Friday. If you guys entered Friday's trades, we told you guys above 35K we were entering and you would have made some profits there. So we're doing the same thing this week. We're looking for entries above 35K and we're taking profits on the way up. So as you guys already know, 36K is a minor resistance here. So we're taking profits on the way up to 36. Then that next number that we're looking to get above is 38K. So we'll have some long entries uh, for short term set up there as well. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And if you guys have any questions about anything we just covered, drop it in the comments. Alrighty, guys, let's see if we can kill it this week and make some nice profits. So I will see you on tomorrow's video. As always, guys, peace and love.